What is going on guys? Ed Crouch here with Overboost Network. Welcome to the channel. Today it's going to be a short video, just as a heads up. I am popping into London just to do a bit of shopping with my mum on my last day off of the summer. So it is a Monday, so hopefully it won't be too busy, but we're going to have a little bit of shopping, have a look around before we get some lunch. But um, if I do spot any supercars, which I'm sure walking around Knightsbridge, etc., near the McLaren garage, I will. I will film them. So hopefully we can spot a few Lambos, a few Ferraris, whatever else we can find. So our direct train at 908 has been cancelled. Yeah. I mean, that was quite lucky really, because we totally wouldn't have made that. <laughs> but um, more to the point, we look like we have to change trains now and anything that is in the direct train is a bit complicated for my liking. So it's going to be quite interesting. So after two changes, one at Basingstoke and one at Reading, we finally made it to London, but we are at Paddington Station rather than Waterloo due to difficulties on the trains today. However, we're only an hour later than expected, so we're still in time for some lunch and stuff, so it's not really too bad. Just around the back of High Park, we're not on the area where it's going to be lots of expensive cars. However, we've already got the V8 compressor G-Wagon. So this is obviously like the bi-turbo. Actually, no, the compressor wouldn't be bi-turbo. This would be the supercharged one. So this is the A, no, the G65. G65 AMG? What a monster of a car. Look at that. That is an absolute beast. I mean, I don't know, I think they're aftermarket rims or nothing. Look at the size of those tyres. Like, put my leg next to it for comparison. It's higher than my, it's actually the height of my waist. That is a mental, mental spec G65. Absolutely insane. This is awesome because it, while it is a Gallardo, it's the third generation one, which has got the uh, updated uh, diffuser at the front, which does look a lot better. I don't like the originals because they look too boxy, where with the angular engine, but uh, angular diffuser at the front, it does look a lot more modern and it gives the whole car a bit more of an updated look. And uh, I'd happily drive around a Mark III Gallardo. They're very nice. Just behind us in the traffic now, I've also spotted a McLaren. I'm not very au fait with spotting the models of McLaren. I can see it's not a 720. I think it's a 670 or whatever they're called. 670 or 6, no, 650. It might be a 650, it might be a 675 LT, it is a Spider. It's in awesome metallic grey. They don't sound that good because they're turbocharged in my opinion. Again, quite controversial, but I'm quite excited to see it go by because it's still a significant upgrade over the usual cars you see on the road. For a turbocharged car with a V8 in it, that does sound very grunty. So, as is standard with London, we've been to Harrods. Uh, obviously, loads, loads of stuff like Rolexes that I can't yet afford. You can hear lots of expensive cars going around. But uh, behind me, there's the new R8 V10, fantastic body shape. We've also got the old Bentley Bentayga over there. And as it stands in London, loads and loads of Maybachs and Mercedes just driving executives around. So pretty exciting, but I do like, I've got to say the first car I really fell in love with was the new R8 V10 when the new body came out. And uh, it even looks fantastic in white. Even if you don't pay for the carbon fiber side blades, it's still a fantastic, fantastic looking car. Uh, I probably wouldn't get it in the soft top, but you can hear that V10 better with the soft top. So fair play to the, whoever designed that one. Obviously, we have an Aventador back there. It says SV on the side, so it has to be the Super Veloce edition. Uh, you can tell by that massive black wing. It's so aggressive. I'd really like to hear that start. That naturally aspirated V12 in those things is insane. And I've never actually heard an SV start. I've only ever heard the uh, standard Aventador start. But it is just such a sweet car. Absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, the carbon ceramics on it are massive. The, the really like uh, the beige interior is also lovely. It's just, it's just a hell of a car. And to be fair to him, it's a 65 plate, so it's not brand new, but it is kept immaculate. It's very clean. I love the carbon ceramics. Look at those. Look at those carbon ceramics with the, uh, the yellow brake calipers. That looks absolutely awesome. Not too sure on the rims. I think if I was going to go for the full black body, I'd have probably gone, uh, gone ahead and 
full blacked out the rooms as well and had them in matte. However, you know, what are you going to do? However you want to spec it, fair play, I mean, I'd spec it differently, but I can't afford one. So we've got a nice little selection here as well. I mean, we have this beautiful orange M5 uh, coupled in the background there with the original shaped Audi R8. Uh, I'm pretty sure I recognize that number plate from uh, either a few rallies I've watched on YouTube, but somewhere I've seen that R888 uh, number plate before. We also have an Aston Martin over there. I believe that is the Vantage S and yet another G-Wagon. This is like the third G-Wagon of the day. Uh, I'm not sure which one this is. This is either the, ooh, so this one is the V12 by Turbo. That is a very nice G-Wagon. You can see that one over there. That is a very nice car indeed. HRO in Ferrari. So, our system glass is probably not gonna to look too good to you guys, but we have the GTC4 Uso, as well as the F50. Now the F50 is a real classic. Absolutely love those, sick car. So we have G-Wagon number four, along with my mum moaning, uh, at the back there, 66KA, that's a pretty sweet plate. We've also got this Rolls-Royce Wraith, that is absolutely lovely. You can see that behind me with those massive rims. We do the clean, but it's been a pretty sweet ride. Also, best sounding hybrid three cylinder ever made has to go to the BMW i8. They actually do sound all right, surprisingly, and here's one right here. Economic, eh? So we're back at Waterloo. I am shattered. I was asleep in the taxi on the way back. We were yeah, we couldn't even get, um, couldn't even stay awake to get back to Waterloo from Kensington. So, anyway, as I wasn't a day of uh, supercar spotting. Uh, what I did spot, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up. Uh, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Links to all that social media shit is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys very soon with more awesome content. Overboost Network out. <laughs> so tired.